as I played with the reincarnate of my Sheba, mm -hmm. the same mannerisms, right? And batting is light and that thing rolls down. And then she dies after it. You know. What happened was, while I was locked up, my Sheba was given to the SPCA by Paul. Mm -hmm. Unforgivable sin had been committed. That's why her phone number is, I'll spew you out of my mouth. Oh so, um, on the anniversary of Michael's death, which is sacrificed on the altar in years, mm -hmm. which is Pauline's birthday, mm -hmm. 2003, um, I was shot dead at 6.66 .6 of the hour on a Saturday mm -hmm. on William Street, mm -hmm. on Joy Street. They had the whole place staked out. They knew uh, Michael was going to be shot. And I dreamed it five days in a row. Mm -hmm. But no use telling him, he wouldn't believe me. So, to the date that I get my passport, when I'm a young fella, going to Canada, it's April the 3rd, 1963. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so that's going to my first trip around the world. Of course, uh, eventually ended up in Canada. In uh, 1966, I hit America, so there's Lucifer. Mm -hmm. And then the next year, by four days, mm. when my mother's conceived on that date in 1911, at Bulleye Pass, somewhere down there, mm. Coldale or something like that. Mm. Old granddad used to work in the coal mines. I lived in 51 houses. Yeah, so um, the numbers so perfectly fit once again. So we discovered today of all days the date that I got the, the uh, first passport. What was it? Two eight eight. Two. Huh? Two. Two eight. No, two two eight two. Is it? Mm -hmm. What Which what it means? Sacrifice. Sacrifice. Well, another sacrifice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So that date, of course, is the new moon, uh, lunar eclipse. Man. To brood, to cherish in Greek and then sacrifice, victim, therefore feast, day, sacrifice. Solemnity. So this is going to get to the children of Palestine. What do you want to say to them? Your forefather's God was a woman. <laughs> Mother Asher. My heart weeps for all that you have suffered. It is about to end. So what are you going to do with the Jews? <laughs> that the angels take them out. Reap. Something about two in the one bed? Yes, two, two in a field. One remains. Two in a bed. One remains. So the ones that are taken out are cast off the earth. The 
song that I wrote and then vanquished after time out of inhale a thousand times worse than what they have inflicted upon you they will experience. Is there any happy thoughts? No, nope. not for them. <laughs> not for them. However, for the children, you'll be set free. You will have peace, you will have love, you will have security. You'll be happy without fear forever. A little word to um, Haran. Haran. Oh, we love you. Mahmud, you are a saint. You are Muhammad, Mahmud. Mahmud. <laughs> you have the broad forehead and the large nose. <laughs> and you need to take out Israel. Go in and set Palestine free. Don't wait any longer. Do it now. And what's that wise man that was recently sacked by Fox? Glenn. Uh, oh, Glenn Beck. Glenn Beck uh, he said something. Yes, he said that God is with you, Aaron, and then he could have bit his tongue. No, he, he did that on purpose. He's one of us, you see. Ah. He was waiting for the moment to make the mistake but get it into the psyche that uh, God is with them. Right. Well, That's why they sacked him. God is with you, Aram. And you will lead the world in peace. And the world will model their families upon the Iranian families. Can't wait to taste your ice cream. <laughs> Yeah, so I, I think we've eclipsed um, our wildest dreams of yesterday. Mm. This is uh, we're going <clears throat> to the very passport that <laughs> was granted on a Wednesday <laughs> on April the bloody third, nineteen sixty-three. The next solar eclipse to that was nine hundred and forty-two miles to where I was born. The same as now. Mm. What date was that one? <clears throat> November the fourteenth. Uh, the one coming up, yeah. Mm, but the one then. November the fourteenth. So it was the same day. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because it's the same location, and it's nine four two miles mm. to the crib. Oh, right. And that's the bloodline that lines up. You know, the Netanyahu is talking about don't cross a red line. Mm. Oh. Well, we're drawing one in the sand, right? Sure, that is the moment of conception, mm. right? But one nine seven. Nine point six one six eight years. The one nine seven Brian and Marshall. Mm. Nine six, ninety six day of the year. Conception mm. date, that's what we're talking about. Mm. And then one six eight. One six eight birthday. in Marshall Jesus Islands. Birthday. That's Marshall Islands. Mm. And Jesus that's the birthday. longitude of Marshall Islands. 17th of June. <laughs> so talk about a pat hand. Mm. But are they actually wise enough to give up? Probably not. There's nothing wise about them. So you just got to take them out? Mm. Any way you can. Absolutely. ASAP. No more delays. 
They are just getting worse and worse. A cancerous cell has consciousness, you know, and it don't like getting the laser. It protests, but you got to burn it out, right? Mm. So this is just the cell a little bit more in your face. Mm. <laughs> you're raise. living. You're living the experience of the cancer, right? You need to raise the pH level of the earth. Hmm. Yeah. To kill the cancer. Now I got on this Sheba on the windshield. Hmm. You should have seen what she was doing. She was grabbing the blade of the windshield wiper mm. and then pulling it pulling back, back about six inches and whack letting it go. <laughs> Did you see have some fun on that car bonnet? That's a pain right out there for her. Mm. All sorts of things. <laughs> so that's a that's a uh, checkmate. You're repealing, you're telling the children of of uh, the descendants of the angels. Mm. Well, we know who the descendants of the devil are. Mm. Right next door. The devil next door. The one that's doing it to you. That's it. And yeah, they do. Put, put this on your camera. It's a um, while you're recording and on the subject. Oh wow. Smooth, smooth away. Another way up. Another way up now. Yeah, the smooth side up. That's right. it. What do you want? It's a poem by a young Palestinian mm. fella. What's this? Oh, why did you click then? No idea. Close that. <laughs> it's popped up. This? Yeah, that middle one. to mine, a half-torn house, no ceiling, just the sky, no sleep in the night, imagine living with the whistles of missiles when they fly, a melody you know too well, brings back the memories you hold in a shell, you protected them from the song that makes you cry, the anxiety of hoping it don't land on your walls, then hear the wells and the calls and the roads you have to walk, and this is the road you have to walk. See a boy cry for his mother, then you're lost in your thoughts. Remember when you lost yours, throwing pebbles at machines, it's a lost cause. In which world do you live? All I know is war. I can't look at the color red anymore, and I can't deal with all these deaths anymore. I cry when I see the teddy I was meant to adore my father. Mother told me he was sent to our Lord. So tired, I can't grieve anymore. I assume they're together now, somewhere life is better. I search for some paper beneath the rubble, the mess, so I can write them a letter of my troubles, my stress. I have no one to talk to, and nobody left. I can ask them why they left me, and tell them what I fought through after their death. In which world do they live, and will I see them again? These chemicals, I don't know their name, but I know their effect. I know too well their effect, I can't breathe. They wander through the air. And take a hold of my neck like a soldier with no heart Then it gets so dark I can't dream I can't sleep I live in a world of no rest My visions keep me alive but sometimes I can't see Do they not have children? It can't be I'm sure they have children It can't be Don't they see the anguish in my eyes? Don't they hear the pain in my cry? Which human being is willing to take a child's life? What is it they want? And where is it they'll stop? The songs of the sky, these whistles, when will they stop? These missiles, when will they stop? These settlers, when will they stop? When will they stop? You're fine. That says it all. No. Gives you chills. You hear the water sound in this? It's not, I didn't put it in there as a soundtrack. 
this water running. Red finger pointing at it. Yeah, that's a tannic thing. Mm. And the finger with the puncture mark of blood from a dog bite. That's a fellow who designed our program. Oh, he, it is. he invented it, yeah. Right. Changing the measurements again. Hmm. Seems to be the norm on the Google Earth, isn't it? The oldest religion. If you don't have a goddess mother figure um, as your creator, young women have nothing to live up to. Mm. Not the man's uh, idea of what a woman is. Yeah, we'll look at the world that's been under the male dominance belief system. That's got the balance. This is the uh, sort of approach point. We have only the four ranks. So memorizing all the distances, huh? There's a smudge you asked about. Half seconds. So on this date, there's a solid flip going to occur, and it's 942 miles from there. So a couple of weeks away, isn't it? Right. Right, is it right, Mark? You see this change? This could be way out. Yeah. 
That's a really interesting looking bicep. Mm. Wonderful, I don't know. Just a Here we go again. <laughs> Here's a bloody coral here, the rarest coral in the world. It's only found in Easter Island near Iowa, so the priests. Mm. Hmm? So it's the Canaanite god. Mother and father. Mm. 